My name is Christoph Schäfer. I'm professor for ancient history at the University of Trier. This is a Roman uh, ship, a merchant ship, a replica of a Roman ship. The shipwreck, which was the basis of this reconstruction, we found at uh, the neighborhood of in the neighborhood of Matik, and it was one of the best preserved uh, shipwrecks of antiquity. So we have more than half of the of this uh, ship preserved under sediments and so we could uh, reconstruct it in a very very close way to the original. Um, my name is Sophie Gröner. I'm a student of uh, history at the University of Trier and uh, I'm a member of the ship crew here with the Vissola. Um, I'm not actually a sailor. Uh, everything I uh, can I learned here on this ship. I've never sailed before and um, so it was a new experience for me. My name is uh, Julian Heinz. I'm a um, scientific researcher at uh, Trier University and I'm uh, yeah, part of this project which uh, brought me to this, uh, to this ship. Um, I studied history and uh, work now as a scientific researcher at the Ancient History Department um, at the uh, Trier University where I, am, um, where I do calculations or simulations of um, ancient boats so and we try here to uh, determine the sailing capabilities um, of this boat. But we need now also testing in the wakes. And uh, with all the data we have, they are synch synch synchronized and we can construct a polar diagram which gives us information about the performance of this ship uh, in different winds and wind directions. So it's uh, the first time that we have a Roman merchant today and the first time we could do our measurement with this and getting back the data we don't have in the ancient sources. And we are testing this ship now in the, bay, in, the, in, the, in the Mediterranean Sea. It was built at Trier University in inland and test, tested on the Mosul River. But we need now also testing in the wakes. And uh, with all the data we have, they are syn syn synchronized and we can construct a polar diagram which gives us information about the performance of this ship uh, in different winds and wind directions. So it's uh, the first time that we have a Roman merchant today and the first time we could do our measurement with this and getting back the data we don't have in the ancient sources. <laughs> 